So today marks my first day of getting stood down. What does that mean? This means that I wouldn't get any more income from my employer, even though I'm so-called still employed. And this is of course due to the whole COVID thing that they do not have enough projects for the consultants like me to be on. What does that mean for me? Well, since I'm not getting any more income, that means in the next two months, I have to live off my savings. And that was a huge wake up slap to me. I just realized how reliant I was on this one sole income, which was the active job. I think just like most millennials, we are frantically and focused on this active income, getting the best active income, getting the best career, getting the best job, getting the best companies. But that can just be taken away when shit hits the fan. Well, my life now will be greatly impacted because now I have to live off my savings. And of course, I can't live as usual and have to live more conservatively. And that means that this whole lifestyle that I had is completely changed. And that comes to show that someone's actions and someone's decision can impact my lifestyle so drastically. And that's because they have control of my income. They have control of my only and sole income. And I start to wonder, how can I actually prevent this? How can I prevent someone else to take control of my lifestyle? And that's where I came to the answer. I have to start building my passive income. So in this video, I really want to touch on why is it so important for millennials like you and me to build our passive income right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nikki Sujadi. I create empowering and relatable content to you millennials. So if you like personal development or relatable content, do consider subscribing to this channel because that's what this channel is gonna be about. Today in this video is really about passive income. As the story that I just mentioned to you, it just happened to me today, which comes to the first point in this video, which is diversification of our income streams. Diversification is often used in finance or investments, which means that we don't put our, all our eggs in one basket. You know, we don't put all my, our money in the stock market. We put some in the bonds. We put some in real estates so that we can diversify the risk. But often enough, we don't do that for incomes. We focus solely on our sole income, on the company that we're working in, because, uh, well, we just joined the workforce. And I guess we want to get the most out of this, right? We want to get the highest paying job, the best role, you know, promotion. All of that is really focusing on this active job that we have. But then things like this happen. And when shit hits the fan, we are the one who suffers the most. You can say pandemic is gonna happen only once in a century or not, but recession is bound to happen again. And if we don't prepare ourselves to defend against that, then we are just gonna be laying ourselves, sitting ducks and on the mercy of the company that we are in. So I think it's really important for us to actually build this defensive system to diversify our income so that we can minimize the risk from these companies that we are working. Which comes to my second point. By having passive income, we can actually enjoy and find more happiness in our active job. So I recently watched a video by Ali Abdal, who is a doctor at Cambridge. He's a YouTuber himself, and he talks about personal development contents just like this. And in one of his videos, he said that he was actually asking and surveying all of the doctors that he have met before about whether they would have actually gone full-time as a doctor if they were to actually win a lottery. He has surveyed hundreds of doctors. To his surprise, he said none, zero. None of them actually said that they will have gone full-time if given the choice that they win a lottery or they have the money to actually sustain their lifestyle. This comes to show that a lot of us and even doctors are actually stuck in their current active job because that is what is paying their bills. They have to work because they have families to take care of, they have bills to pay, and they have their lifestyle to support. And he realized that right now, him as a YouTuber and him having multiple streams of income actually allowed him to not be super dependent on him being a doctor. 
In fact, most of his income actually comes from YouTube itself, AdSense, and other of his income streams that actually allowed him to change his mindset from having to work for the sake of working to pay the bills, but instead working because it's actually what he wants to do. The mindset shift from having to work just, so, just because he has to work to knowing that he works because he wants to has a huge impact to how he actually treat his current work. He finds it fun because now it's not that it's not that he's forced to work. He do it by his own will to work. And I, I think like having the flexibility to actually work, not because you have to, but because you want to, gives you a sense of control of your life. You don't have to be tied to a high paying job that you don't like just so that it can actually maintain your lifestyle. You can even try to experiment other active income, other active jobs that you want to, even though it might not be a high paying one because you know that you'll be financially all right because you have some sort of passive income and other income streams, which shows really the power of passive income. Now, the third point is that passive income gives us the ability to control our time. When you have financial stability, you really can just do what you want. You can change an active job to something that you really like. You also can spend your time on something that you really want to do with, aside from job, such as spending more time with your family, your friends, playing a sports of badminton or any other hobby or sports that you have, but you really can have the ability and the flexibility to control what you want to do. Let me just elaborate a bit more. If I were to be given a choice of how I can actually draw my lifestyle from scratch, I will not actively choose 48 plus hours plus another five plus hours on the road every single week so that I can get my work done. Instead, I would have drawn my life where I can play more badminton, I can spend more time with my friends, I can have a longer weekend getaway, and that would be something that I wouldn't be able to do if I were to be stuck in my active job or if my income is very tied to my current active job. You see, being able to do what you want, who do you want to do it with, where do you want to do it at, and for as long as you want, can give us lasting amount of happiness that no fancy stuff will provide. Imagine having the money to have the flexibility to do whatever kind of work or to even find a place so that you have a shorter time to commute, to have more time on a holiday, to go on mini retirements once in a while. It's something that I would say can't really get old. It's the ability to control time once we actually have that financial freedom. And I believe it's something that the passive income can actually help us achieve. So although money can't buy time, but money can buy the freedom to choose what we want to do with that time. And so I feel the key message to this video is that firstly, passive income, which is having multiple streams of incomes, allows us to diversify our risk accordingly. We don't have to put all our eggs in one basket in our active income where it could just be taken away when things go wrong and an employer just decided to lay you off or put you on stand down just like I have. Secondly, with the multiple stream of incomes, you have the flexibility to choose the active work that you truly like or even change the perception from having just to work for the sake of working, but working because you want to work. And that mindset shift can actually allows you to have fun while working. And comes to the third point, which is the time that you are able to control with that financial freedom that you just have through passive income. So I think we millennials should really try to put some of our focus on building this passive income. And it doesn't have to be this crazy idea. It can just even be starting something small like this YouTube channel or even start reselling a few things online, which I know you probably are asking, how do you actually build a passive income? And I will actually discuss that in my next video. So do stay tuned for that. But for this video, I hope I have convinced you enough that having passive income can be truly life-changing. And it's truly important that we can start it right now, especially when we have the energy and are still young. Well, this is it for this video. If you find value from this video, please do give a thumbs up. And if you like more of this relatable and empowering content, do subscribe to my channel for more of these contents. Thank you for watching. Till next time, peace.